the honor of, of having a, a privilege of having a patient let them open you up, operate on you, cut on you, touch and hold their, their organs and their artery uh, and fix it and put the trust in you for that, that is the most rewarding or fulfilling uh, by far aspect of, of my life. So it really is 100% about the patient, that, that, that Mr. Jones came to me with an aneurysm or a ruptured aneurysm, and I was able to fix it along with a, a whole host of other people, a team approach, and then he walked out of the hospital. That's what it's all about. That's, that's what's rewarding. And for all the reasons that I came here and decided to come here that have sustained, that those have sustained me here because I've gotten everything I wanted out of those elements of clinical care of the patient, research, administration, and teaching. They have all, all those goals of mine, those uh, ha have, have been met. And that's why I've enjoyed staying here. Patient and family-centered care is, is really uh, is an important element in how I practice vascular surgery. Um, the patient alone is not their own, uh, an entity that stands alone. They have a family, and the family has, a, has the patient. And it's incumbent upon me as a vascular surgeon because a lot of the procedures that I do are, that we perform on patients are long, they are complex, and um, in, in all honesty, they carry with it substantial risk. So there has to be an involvement with the family and the patient and the physician. Those three elements have to be involved from the very, very, very get-go. Uh, I think his uh, pursuit for excellence within, within the field of surgery and uh, the fact that he uh, will not settle for anything but just absolute excellence and perfection both uh, with patient care as well as in the operating room and uh, it's clearly uh, shown me that um, being uh, able to take care of patients like he has would make a huge impact and, and deliver a, a great service to our state. I would honestly say every patient that he assumes responsibility for, that he takes to the operating room, he treats that patient as though it was his father. He treats uh, the patient with the utmost respect and he demands uh, absolute perfection with the management of those patients, uh, both in the operating room as well as outside the operating room. He really does uh, exhibit the qualities that, that I would want to see in a surgeon that was responsible for one of my loved one's life. And I think he really uh, has uh, illustrated uh, the changes that he's been able to make in, in patients' lives by delivering um, uh, vascular surgery at the level that he does.